Chapter 9 of For Heaven's Sake Little Talks to Little Folks by Reverend Gerald T. Brennan. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Maria Therese. Chapter 9 The Soldier's Greeting. You have all seen pictures of the Statue of Liberty. Well, the Statue of Liberty stands at the entrance to New York Harbor. Miss Liberty stands on a high platform, and she can be seen for miles. She holds a torch in her hand, and she looks out across the sea. Travelers on the sea are always looking for Miss Liberty. When travelers see the statue, they know that they will soon be home. Miss Liberty is always there to tell travelers that they are welcome in America. Some day you may cross the ocean. When you come sailing home to America, your heart will jump when you see the Statue of Liberty. Miss Liberty's torch will light the way for you. She will hold her torch high so that you won't get lost. You'll look up at that statue and you'll thank Miss Liberty for showing you the way home. Now, here's a true story. There was a young colored soldier who sailed off to war. For months and months, the soldier fought in a strange land. He was a brave soldier, and he fought hard. Then came the day when the war was finished. The young colored soldier left the strange land and started on his journey back to America. For several days and nights, the soldier sailed across the Atlantic. Finally, one morning, the young colored soldier saw the Statue of Liberty in the distance. Oh, he'd soon be home. He could hardly wait. The soldier was very happy. After some time, the soldier's boat sailed very close to the Statue of Liberty. The soldier looked up at the Statue of Liberty. He saw the torch of light leading the ship safely into port. The colored soldier was so happy that he threw his hat into the air. Then he raised his arms and cried out at the top of his voice, Lady, you can drop your torch now. Eyes home. Now, that soldier felt that Miss Liberty had guided him safely. Miss Liberty's torch had lighted the soldier's path across the ocean. Miss Liberty's torch had shown the soldier the way home. Now, boys and girls, just as Miss Liberty shows travelers the way to America, so too does the Blessed Virgin Mary show us the way to heaven. You know, we too are travelers. We are traveling to heaven, and the Blessed Virgin Mary lights up the way for us. How does Mary light up the way? Why, the Blessed Virgin Mary holds Jesus in her arms. Jesus, you know, is the light of the world. Yes, Mary holds the light of the world. Now, if we want to get to heaven, we must keep our eyes on Mary. If we go to Mary, we'll never get lost. Mary will lead us to heaven. That's why I want you to pray often to Mary. Pray to Mary every day. Learn to love Mary and show Mary that you love her by your prayers. You won't find any friend better than Mary. Mary will help you to save your soul. Mary will lead you to Jesus. Remember, children, it's a long road to heaven. It's a hard road to heaven. If you pray to Mary every day, then some day you'll be able to say to Mary, Thanks, Mary, for bringing me home. I'm home now, safe in heaven. End of chapter 9